morning. My hair is literally a mess. Um, I basically decided like five minutes ago that I was gonna vlog today. So it is Easter Sunday and I actually have a lot to do. I'm heading to a Soul Cycle class now. I also went running around yesterday, so I'm gonna show you guys some of that and some rearranging that I'm doing around the house for spring. But yeah, um, we're just gonna see where the day takes us. But right now I have like literally five minutes before I have to leave. So I'm just wearing this berry sweatshirt you guys have seen before, my Lululemon Align leggings. And I'm gonna make my water, my coffee and take them with me. to sign into class, don't I? And I need to get gas. Check into class. Cool. Okay, we're checked in. Um, yeah, so I'm heading to SoulCycle. I have a lot that I want to get done today even though we're gonna be out of the house like doing Easter with Rob's family and my family for part of the day. But I'm confident that we can get it all done. So, part of what has been going on the last couple days is it's starting to get warmer in New York. Like spring is springing. We are towards the end of the cold weather I can like feel it coming to an end which I'm so excited about but for me that means like kind of rearranging my home and kind of changing my style so it's a little like what I call happier or like more colorful in my home so the only way I can explain that is like in the winter because new york is so cloudy and moody like i decorate my home very like scandinavian cozy very neutral a lot of textures but once it hits spring like my whole house like shifts to more of like a european farmhouse style i would say so i like sub out the lilies for like hydrangeas and I like to put out like lighter colored pictures and I like to put like lemons out and I don't know whatever you guys will see but I feel like my mood changes so much as the seasons change and I just my home is like such a reflection of that and that's basically what we've been doing I'm also getting quotes for wallpapering our bathroom it's been like a few different colors almost missed that stop sign <laughs> um, it's been a few different colors and I just I've always wanted to wallpaper the bathroom since we moved in and we should have done it when we got the new vanity but we were just trying to like not spend a lot of money since we obviously like rent but I am like at the point where I'm like I just want to do it like it's gonna bring me happiness it's gonna bring me joy and I want to wallpaper the bathroom so that's something I want to like get a move on especially since um, it's getting warmer out and we're also gonna be away on a couple trips so I'm hoping that that something can be done like when we're not in the house so that we're not really like that affected by it and oh. and I've also been rearranging like my pictures and stuff like that so there's probably gonna be a couple of holes that I need to like patch up and paint over at least in the bedroom I know there is so um, I'm trying not to be impulsive about it. 
I get like super super excited about like home projects and then I usually end up making impulse decisions and then that's why things like change all the time but yeah so that's what's been going on Rob and I went running around a little bit yesterday we went to a couple of nurseries in Bedford 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 and I actually bought a pea slowly plant which I'll show you guys when I get home it's so cute it's so pretty and it's like perfect for the pot that I wanted it in and we brought out our plants finally they're out of the garage so that they can start to like thrive and grow and I also got a candle which I'm pretty sure I threw out the top that says what it is but maybe it'll say it somewhere it's so funny I come to Bronxville every single day pretty much and every day I'm like it's so pretty here like it's just such a cute town it's so like quaint and the people are so nice and the buildings are so pretty and everyone like decorates their windows and they're outside really well and like all the trees are starting to bloom they look so nice like look how cute that's the train station Anyway, I need to find parking. I need to go to my class. I'm actually like a decent parallel parker. My aunt taught me how to parallel park when I was like 14 before I was even driving. She gave me all these like tips and tricks. And now I'm pretty good at it. Shout out to Tanya if you're watching this for teaching me how to parallel park. Okay, we gotta run. I will see you guys after. Alright, just showered. That noise is Rob watching TV because he's literally deaf. It's like insane. I didn't do any of my skincare. I literally just showered. I want to do the um, SKKN exfoliant today on my skin. So I'm going to wait for it to dry and then probably dermaplane and then do that. So, but I wanted to show you guys our bedroom. So, sorry, it's a little bit messy. Like I said, today is cleaning day. So I have some clothes to put away and stuff. I did vacuum and so for the floors yesterday thankfully just because today is easter and i knew we'd be a little pressed on time but i just stripped the bed and this is what i was talking about so rob used to have like a little box like jewelry box type thing here and i think i'm either going to get him a lamp or we're going to put like flowers or a candle or something cute on his so it's like a little bit more minimalistic and then i took down our dark painting and put up this mixed media piece that I got at Elephant Trunk last summer. And I absolutely love it. It's, let me show you guys up close. It's actually a woman, if you can see. And then the flowers. So I love that. Um, my nightstand's the same. I took everything off of here and just put these two picture frames that I showed you in the last vlog, also from Elephant Trunk. But that is the bedroom. Those are just the small changes I've made. I'm currently doing laundry. I also have things to show you guys, so I'll do a quick little haul of stuff I got. Rob just got me some hydrangeas, which I'm so grateful for because I want to add some more to my florals. They're so cute. These are my favorite flowers. I love hydrangeas. And then, like I said, we are currently <laughs> in the midst of cleaning, but I took out this bowl I got in Tennessee from a store in Leapers Fork and it's brand new. They just opened this year. Well, last year in 2022, but they haven't been open for a full year yet. And I would highly recommend going. It's the, I believe it's the woman who wrote the Patina Farm books. I'm not 100% positive, but I think that's whose store it is. But it's absolutely stunning. Highly, highly recommend. If you are in Nashville, take a trip to Leapers Fork. It's such a cute little area. And then this little guy we had gotten in Nevis, he's hand carved and he says Nevis on him somewhere. Oh, down here. 
and then I have, you guys saw this, I bought this during Christmas to put on the table, but I put some um, baby's breath in there as well. So that's sort of like what our counter is looking like right now. I wanted just like a cute little setup and I wanted to display the lemons and this lemon is bad, so that's disgusting. That's our island. That's the same. That has not changed. And then this, I wanted to bring out my cookbooks because I definitely cook so much more during the spring and summer. I just like open up the windows, open up doors, and I get excited to like bake and cook. So I took out my cookbooks, these are the three that I currently have, and then I just ordered one. It's a vegetarian Mexican cookbook, so I'll show you guys when that comes in from Amazon. Normally I put our fruits and everything in here, but again, I wanted to do like a lemon bowl, so this is sort of empty for now. Hydrangea flowers. And then what I want to do with these hooks is I want to put my bikini here when it's like drying and have like a cowboy hat. I'll try to insert the inspo picture I have, but for summer I want to keep this like simple and not as like purposeful as it is right now. Like right now it's obviously being used for things that we grab on the way out, but I kind of want to make it cute and make it more of like an aesthetically pleasing corner. Everything is off of the windowsills over here. So this is the same that was there. Um, I put out this candle so that way when it's evening I have a bunch of candles you'll notice like all over the kitchen that I can light and it's just like such a mood. This I got in Pennsylvania and it's funny because I wasn't going to get it because it's not really like my style but I thought it was so cute for maybe like if Rob and I ever got like an upstate house or like a cabin or a house in like the New England area which we're actually kind of looking around like no plans but just kind of looking also put some baby's breath in here so i just thought that was like cute that's the update i am just kind of slowly but surely like rearranging and the next thing i want to look for are cute kitchen towels which i found oh that reminds me i'll show you guys my peace lily How cute. So these clay pots, you're technically not supposed to put plants in because they'll crack if they get wet. So what I did is I put a planter inside the planter and then surrounded it with like clay pebbles. So that way this um, planter is always protected. And this I can take out to water so it's not being watered in the actual planter. So that's why we got like a smaller plant instead of doing like a tree. But I just wanted something here uh yeah i like it on the floor i don't know i think it adds some dimension between like the chair being here and then like the entry table being over here so but i'm absolutely in love with this piece lily i love it so much i think it's so cute and it's still like going to be blooming and everything so i'm excited to see her grow i cannot wait to have like a white kitchen like i love white kitchens or even like a light like like a kitchen that has a lot of windows, I would even be down to do like a green kitchen. But I love more like, I don't know, I'm not as much of like a traditional kitchen person. And that's really like what our kitchen is now. It's like very, very traditional. So, but it's obviously like it's a beautiful kitchen. It's just not really my style. So I'm excited for when we move to be able to like really do what I want to do. Anyway, I'm going to cut up these flowers, put these away, and then clean up our bedroom a little bit because, as you guys saw, everything's kind of like a nightmare, and I need to get this all cleaned up before we leave for Easter with our families. With hydrangeas, because they don't last very long, you want to take all the leaves off. That way the leaves don't soak up all the water you can keep your hydrangeas fresh longer if you take the leaves off. So we're going to take all the leaves off. Okay. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to boil some water. We're going to cut the ends how we want them 
I've heard mixed things about smashing the ends. If you want to smash them, you can. I'm, I'm sure it doesn't do any harm, but I'm not going to smash mine. I'm going to cut them, put them in the boiling water for 30 seconds, and then immediately transfer them into my um, vase. And I'm also going to add this food into the vase. Water is boiling, so 30 seconds in the water. Alexa, set timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, starting now. kitchen is clean i just washed everything from the sink cleaned the sink cleaned all the counters and this is the candle i got yesterday that i was telling you guys in the car white flower number 42 i'm not sure what the brand is but if i can find it i'll link it for you guys um i just got really excited and like peeled off the top last night can i help you can I help you? And then I actually swapped the flowers into this space just because the other one was like a little too big. So I put that in here. I think it looks cute. And then this is for today. Rob picked up some um, pies from a place called Galloway's in East Chester. They have really, really good pies, really good donuts. Um, so that's always like our go-to place. And then I just need to put this stuff away. But that's what it's looking like. I love our little plant in the corner. So cute. I just put on a little tiny bit of makeup. Um, all I did was concealer, blush, and mascara. Just, you know, to look a little presentable. But I want to do a little haul with you guys. So I got two shirts from Etsy. I'm going to link everything down below. But I thought that this was cute. And I love Kate Moss and I love this picture. And Anine Bing has a shirt similar to this, but it's... A little pricey this was like I think $25 and it was like $5 for shipping so cute I got everything in a medium just because I wanted it well no I got this in a large the other one I got in a medium because I wanted them a little bit big so I can wear them just like cut off shorts or bike shorts whatever just easy I love graphic t-shirts usually I try to buy them vintage but I've been having a hard time like finding vintage t-shirts the last few times Rob and I have gone. So yeah. And like the prices of everything have kind of gone up I feel like. Which it's still obviously good not to pay for new clothes. Since it is like not great for the environment. But you know. And then this is the second shirt I got. And it's just like cassette tapes of like. I think it says like Bruce Springsteen, Tom Petty, Guns N' Roses, like all bands that I grew up listening to with my dad. So this one I got in a medium. This one is a little bit lighter and it feels like better quality, honestly. But I think it was around the same price. And then from, I think it's called Yellow the Label. Y-L-L-W. Like how cute. It's like corduroy and it's textured and you can adjust the back but I'm excited to wear this this is me in a hat I'm always like Rob do you want to go for a walk <laughs> I always want to walk I just think it feels nice to like get out in nature and go for a nice long walk but I love this they also have a sweatshirt that's the same thing it's like vintage looking which I was thinking about getting but I need another sweatshirt like I need a hole in my head so we went with the hat so I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. And yeah. 
So I got that. And then, this I haven't even opened yet. This is from Farfetch. I got two bathing suits. Rob and I are leaving for Orlando literally in one week from today. So puppy. Frankie's. Is this comes with you? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I love Hunted G bikinis. They are, even their one suits, they are such a great material. They're all one size, which makes it really easy. And so I got the bathing suit that I have in black. I got in this like ivory color, if I can get it open. So it comes as a set. These are the bottoms. Like I said, they're like a stretchy material, so they're all one size. And I like these because they are like middle mid coverage and they come like up high on your hips. So they're really, really flattering. And then I got the halter top with like the little circle. Love this. Super, super excited for that. So that I know I'm keeping. The one I need to try on is by Frankie's bikinis. I got a small in bulk. But also a textured bikini. Similar color, a little bit more beige than like the Hunza one, but these are the bottoms. So these are not like any coverage. <laughs> this is like the sexy bikini. So this one I'll probably be wearing more so when we go to Clearwater, when it's just like Rob and I. Because it's not appropriate for the kids, you know? We don't want to scare them. And then the top, I also love the little bow. I think that's like kind of what sold me on it. I also always see Frankie's bikinis like clothes and swimwear. And they always have good reviews by anyone I see posting them online. And obviously, like, Hailey Bieber looks good in literally everything. And she wears the brand a lot. But this is the top. It's just, like, a regular triangle top. But, again, it has, like, the little bows. So, I do need to try this on. Kind of, like, soon. Because I think their return policy is, like, two weeks, not 30 days. But, you know. So, that's what I got from Farfetch. And I'm just going to link everything below what i will say about farfetch is they do have like sales here and there so you can probably find a discount code to get like 10 or 20 percent off if you don't need something like right away and you want to kind of just keep your eye on it like, look at all this plastic like so unnecessary and then from aloe one of the things i got is actually in the wash because i wore it to soul cycle today it's a uh ribbed bra which i will link below so i won't be able to show you guys that one because it's in the washing machine but this bra is called splendor and this is what it looks like it kind of reminded me of the skims bras but this one's a little thicker it's more of like a sports bra obviously and then it crosses in the back and then i got these cute little shorts that look like boxer shorts not boxer boxing shorts and they're like quilted so i'm excited about those i feel like i can just like wear these together and throw like a white long sleeve button down over it to just like run and get coffee or whatever i'm excited about that and that is all my packages for you guys. I do need to try on those bikinis. So obviously if one of them, like it, I know the Hunza G one fits really well. I have that exact same one in black. But I need to try on the Frankie's one. So I'll leave like an honest review down below if I really like it, if I don't like it, whatever. It's 12.50. And we have to be at his aunt's house around like 2 15 2 30 so i think i'm going to have a little something to eat and 
I need to drink water. I've been really bad about drinking water, so I'm gonna get my water, my ice water. Anyway, you guys, I'm so obsessed with these. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm so ready for summer. <laughs> like, I could fully surpass spring. But I do like seeing like everything blooming in spring. It's obviously nice to see like the actual change in seasons, but I literally am someone who would go like straight into summer and be like, let's let's go baby. <laughs> okay, so I did change. I'm just wearing this crop top from well crop sweater from Zara. I showed it in a haul. If you're wondering what it is, I have the tag. So I'm wearing that and then this Zara jacket. And then I have on Wilfred pants from Aritzia, and then I'm just wearing my Birkenstocks, but I just wanted to be like cute and comfortable and I don't really do colors, so this is like for me this is like Easter vibes like light <laughs> ivories that's what we're doing with that and then I need my sunglasses which I don't know where they are they might be in the car I gotta check but anyway we're heading out um we gotta go. myself like a little salad because I'm a little hungry. Just filming. Do you not have any clothes on? I just I was about to take it off. I was just walking towards the door like this. Uh. Rob's gonna give you guys a show. Mm-hmm. Falling, you're falling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love to go my pajamas on, but I realize the dog would be. You think a dog is much more important. I think she agrees with that. Priorities. I think I prefer the purple potatoes. Me too, 100%. You do too? 110%. I only gave her the orange potatoes. <laughs> that was great. Speaking of which, can we have some orange potatoes? They're over here. one episode of Black Bus after we make the bed? Yep. I might watch one more to try to catch up because this is both the one. Yeah, you, so Rob <laughs> watched an extra episode one night when I needed to because go Because you watched two extra ones before and I crushed them and too. So I was like, I okay, so he's like, but don't worry, I set it back to like I the did. episode. We were supposed to be on episode 14 and it was set to episode 17. Yeah, and you watch 17, 18, 19. <laughs> so I watch two extra ones, because usually at night, like, I go to bed earlier. Ah, 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 ah. Are you kidding me? No! Straight from the frat. <laughs> You're disgusting. It's refreshing. This is not a frat house. <laughs> no, it's my house. Food me? Our house. Mm hmm <laughs> oh, I smell like smoke. Anyway, we got home way later than we expected because 
prop had to go to a fire so he left a little bit so i stayed in my parents house a little bit longer than i planned on but it was fun it was nice and they were like super super happy because my brother is in new jersey and he like couldn't make it home so they got rob myself and kaya so they're very happy This is so good. I'm also starving because I don't eat what's like served on Easter. It's usually like a lot of meat and I don't eat that. So I'm starving. I had rainbow cookies. And then this morning, thankfully, I had banana bread that I had made for breakfast but I was like honestly going back and forth on whether I should even eat breakfast because I didn't know and I'm so happy I did. Me too. Alright I'm gonna finish eating this. We're gonna make bed and finish this night off with a little blacklist. Like fucking good time. Yeah yeah. Well, that's what happens when your dad owns all right, so before I got two ways to do it, I'm gonna wash my face. I'm trying to get rid of this Indie Lee cleanser. Not that I don't like it, it's not bad. It's just not my like favorite cleanser, I would say. So before I get too tired, I'm gonna wash my face. I'm just using the Indie Lee cleanser because they sent it to me. And I'm about halfway through it. And I do, I like it, but it's not like my favorite. I really prefer the First Aid Beauty Cleanser for at night or CeraVe. I pretty much only use very, very gentle cleansers on my skin. I used to have really oily skin. And it wasn't until I started using like moisturizers and oils on my skin that it got better because I didn't realize at the time that I was like stripping my skin so much that it was making it even more oily. And so now I always thoroughly wash my face with like a very gentle cleanser. Nothing too abrasive. And I always use an oil and a moisturizer. Sometimes I'll use like hyaluronic acid. Or I have um, like a benzoyl like peroxide from my dermatologist. For when my skin is like having a little bit of a freak out. But it's been pretty good. I'm also very full because I decided to have a chocolate chip cookie after my salad. And I was already full for my salad. Lighting in this bathroom is so bad. Oh, so this is the bathroom that I want to wallpaper. I'm gonna do, I think like either, there's like a really pretty like bird print that I found that's like very muted and it's like light greens and all different colors, but very, very muted, like very, very light, nothing crazy. Because our shower doors have like a green tint, like a very slight green tint to them. So I feel like whatever we do does need to have like a little bit of green. And then once I wallpaper it, I'm actually going to take everything off the walls. Like all the pictures and everything I have in here. I'm going to take everything out and like completely simplify the whole thing. I might do some shelves over the toilet. So I can like place product up there. But with that said, I think that brightening up in here one it'll make it brighter just in general because i'm obviously in here doing like my makeup and my skincare but also this room is so tiny our bathroom's so tiny and i want it to like feel a little bit bigger and a little bit more happy in here especially once winter comes and it's like cold again so i'm just trying to get this done in the next like two weeks um so yeah i got a couple quotes ready for how much it would cost 
and I think I'm gonna go with one of the contractors Rob uses because obviously he gave us a slightly better price but I just didn't want to feel like I was like taking advantage of him or anything I wanted to see kind of like where he came in at compared to other people and I'm probably just gonna meet somewhere in the middle like his price and the other quotes I get just so it's like more fair because I don't obviously want to like take advantage of him and I know that he'll do it for pretty inexpensive since like Rob literally gives him so much work Oh my god, see this is what I don't love about the Indie Lee cleanser. Like when I use my other cleanser, like I get a lot more off. So it is gentle, but I definitely think the CeraVe and the First Aid Beauty work a little bit better in terms of like actually getting stuff off. Um, I actually didn't exfoliate this morning, so I didn't like end up having time. So I think I'm gonna do it now and just kind of get more gunk off my face. Also, highly recommend getting dark towels for your makeup towels because obviously, if you know, you know, like even when you think you got all your makeup off or whatever, there's always like eyeliner, mascara, whatever that doesn't fully come off and you don't want to ruin your white towels if you have white or light towels. So I literally bought a pack of these Brooklinen washcloths in this like charcoal color for that purpose and it is like one of the best decisions I've ever made. So, okay, no. What are we gonna use? I wanna use an oil since I just did that exfoliant. So I'm gonna use the YSL Pure Shots oil. And I'm just gonna spray two sprays. Rub it together and pat it. Next, I'm gonna use the squalene oil from Indie Lee. This is what I originally bought when they gave me the face wash, and this I do really, really like. I notice a huge difference when I use this. My skin is like brighter and it just feels really nice too. Like it gives you that glazed donut Haley Bieber vibe situation. Ay, ay, ay. I hate this is why I don't wear makeup because I only had makeup on for a few hours today between like I don't know, like 1.30 and 8 p.m. So like let's say seven hours, right? Which a lot of people leave makeup on for much longer, like they'll go to work in it and then they'll like go out and they'll touch up their makeup. My skin is already having like small breakouts underneath it because it just doesn't respond well to makeup. And I didn't even use anything crazy. I literally used a tinted moisturizer. But like I said, my skin is so sensitive about moisturizers. And just like products in general. So I'm always really really aware. of how my skin reacts so realistically i probably will not use that tinted moisturizer again yeah by tomorrow i think that most of them will be gone but they just like start like under the surface and then tomorrow or the next day but i'm gonna have to drink a lot of water take my probiotic and not have any sugar for about 48 hours to like really get this kind of like back and hydrated and back to the best back to its best form I don't know 
But anyway, I'm gonna put some aquaphor on my lips and a little eye cream and then head into the TV room.